Hello, welcome to Chess with Simon. I'm Simon. I've got a nice new microphone. It's a Blue Yeti. I'm trying it out and I'm really enjoying it. So we've had some moves here in this game. It's been a little while since the last video. Um, what's happened? What's happened is this. I played this fort, which I thought was good, although there's a check that escapes from it. The knight comes here. I pick up a pawn, but then this is a really strong move, this rook move, attacking the uh, b7 pawn. I pick up a pawn. There's a check here which looks frightening, but I think it's survival. I go in the corner, got to make sure I don't get checkmated on the back row. You know, so for instance, yeah, got to make sure I don't get checkmated on the back rank, right? I mean, it's a definite risk. Rook takes there, so it's my move. So I can't help, so I'm a pawn up. I've got the better pawn structure. I need to not get checkmated. What do we think about bishop e6? I mean, the knight can't move. Ooh, can the knight move? Well, the knight sort of can move, can't it? Because I can never take on uh, on d4. I cannot take on d4 because then there's a checkmate on e8. So, the honest truth is, <clears throat> we're going to have a think. I mean, we could play a move like... We could play a move like rook d5. Should we just have a look at it analytically? Could play a move like this. Is that going to lead to exchanges? Just a nice end game for black, for black. Or could play a move like this. I suppose that's just defendable. Is it defendable or defensible? Anyway, it doesn't really work because the knight's um, covering the pawn. It's not really a good idea. This. Or you could just play a move like this and stop those checkmates forever. I mean, it's going to come in handy, isn't it? It's one of those prophylactic moves. Because then what's white got, actually? Can't really move the knight. It's quite tempting, isn't it? Okay, let's not decide this very minute. Let's show good practice. The game against Liam. Um, I'm claiming this bishop's not great, although it might soon become great as it escapes. I'm claiming with the pawns on the dark squares, we might have the better minor piece. But the thing we've still got the rooks on, and Liam has a splendid protected pass pawn here. My king's a bit safe. I'm not sure that's terribly relevant. If you could get the knight to a square like c5 i mean there are not many squares like c5 if you get the knight to c5 that would be great but it's not quite clear how you do that you'd have to probably come in through here which means you'd have to come in through here so that's not easy peasy might not be impossible so i mean i uh, i'm claiming white's a little bit better here um i mean we took the queens off obviously Liam off to swap of queens, which makes sense with a less safe king. And then I just chose, b4 was a big decision, but I just assumed that you're going to block the position. The, the knight does better in a block position. The pawns are on dark squares. The bishop's a bit bad for now, although it won't be bad forever. White's going to play in the dark squares. This one against Gary. So Gary's had a very good record against me in this uh, little period. We, we had a draw to begin with, where he was very close to winning. Then I managed to lose on time in a really interesting angle and gambit. This one, I'm claiming that if I swap the queens and then fork this knight and rook, that's quite good. The knight could go there, but that's not good. So I think I'm optimistic. I think I'm just going to take, play bishop c4, and see what Gary says. That's my idea. Um, this one I think is quite theoretical. And at the moment, I don't know what to do. I think black's fine here, to be honest. But I don't know what to do. This is a check from Ian. So after... So I was pretty worried about this game. I, you know, Ian's done ever so well against me. And his grading's amazing. Uh, really good. So... 
I'm attacking B2. So check when Ian took the knight. King here. I think this is going to peter out to be it. I think best guess this is a perpetual. I think what we're going to see is queen here, check. King back. I'm not blocking with the queen. Because if I block with the queen, it's just a worst end game, right? Just a pawn down. King here, check. Thank you very much. We'll take the draw as black. It was a pretty scary game. I mean, I think it's a draw. I suppose white could play this. But how long is that queen going to stay there? It doesn't feel right, does it? Feels passive is the word. But I mean maybe. It's not definitely wrong. I mean, can you start? Nah. We'll see what Ian says really. We'll see what Ian wants to do. I saw him on the bus the other day. He he gave me a big wave. Um which is nice. Community. This one, Gareth, it's your move. I I thought about well, should we play Queen's Indian, and then I thought no, we'll play D five because Gareth's a very tactical player, so I thought we'll play D five. This one, I wanted to have a look at this game against. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit of a flex by me, for which I apologise. But the thing is, it is genuinely interesting. It's a genuinely beautiful. Um, it's a genuinely beautiful. Uh, Four pawn attack, um, the king's Indian. So, firstly, if one can play e5 um, at times like this, I mean, what does the engine want? The engine doesn't want this, but the engine sort of approves, really. You know, it's not bad. Going, You have to go back with a knight. I mean, you know, having to go back with a knight, that is not good. And then there's this move which the engine doesn't like, c5. What does it want to play? It wants to play knight f3. Okay, fairs. The reason I played c5 was to stop black playing c5. Because I think with black plays c5, you see, that's the engine line, black playing c5. Wasn't so keen on that. Uh, I thought, play it ourselves. And it's funny, isn't it? Because the engine lines are actually, have a weaker evaluation. You know, knight f3, c5, bishop, bishop f4 is actually 0 0.63. So it's all a bit confusing. Anyway, I'm fine with c5. Although... It is odd to keep pushing your pawns when you're not developed. I mean, as a if you're starting out in the game, I wouldn't make a habit of that because you can get... The king looks really exposed, but the thing is, black's pieces are nowhere near the king, so you sort of get away with it. C6, I'm not sure C6 is ideal. It's not a disaster. Bishop C4 is very natural, target in the F7 square. E6 is very natural to stop that, but now D6 is super weak. And the knight's going in there to exploit it, although this is considered an inaccuracy. Wants to play h4. I mean, okay. h4. Okay. So because the idea is to take on e5, is it? Okay, black could have taken on e5. Well, why it's a bit better. But, you know, b5 is understandable, but actually now it looks like white's just winning already. This check is an absolute beaut, isn't it? This check... Uh, it's as wick and zog, right? So you don't you don't take on Passon, you just go in the check. Then you're threatening mate in one. Queen e7 is understandable, but you've got to play f5 here, although you still it's still bad. Because this bishop move is really strong because the queen can't take it because there's mate on f7. Pawn move is the only move, I think, that doesn't just well it's lost anyway, but but I didn't know it was this. I didn't know it was plus six. I thought it was just I thought white was just better. Bishop backs off, pawns pushing the bishop around, pushing the bishop around, and then this makes a lot of sense just to uh, stop the immediate catastrophe. I developed a knight. Actually, the computer wants to take on c6, totally understandable, and then my opponent makes me take on c6, so I accept. It's attacking the bishop with a knight, and attacking the rook. My opponent went there, took the rook. So the thing is, and then he resigned. So the thing is, the, one of the questions that uh, I was thinking about during the game is here... Can you take on f5? So if we took on f5, yeah, it, it, the thing is, this is one of those positions where everything wins, right? So takes, I want to take with the queen. So this still works. Knight d f6. This attacks the queen. And you play queen f2. So I looked at this line. And uh, queen g4, very clever to stop me castling. So I guess knight e2. Okay, so the thing is, 
Bishop takes, queen takes. Okay, I wouldn't have played that in a hurry. But anyway. Oh, then you play this, you castle and you castle and check. That's funny, isn't it? Knight gf6, look at that. I mean, it's completely crazy. Oh, you can't take because the pawn's pinned against the queen. Okay, this is a bit irrelevant. I, this was the sort of variation I was looking at, but after g4, it just pushed me to take on c6. I also might add that I gave up against Horde Coach as black, which made me sad. Um, so I thought I was winning for a lot of this game, and I just wasn't. So if we just have a look. The thing is, having seen Horde Coach beat Stockfish, I was advised by someone else who knows a lot about Horde to say you can't really then trust Stockfish. So let's just have a look what we see. So I played this move to open the the H file, which I think is standard practice. Well, I'm not sure it's best, but it's, it's, it's an opening. I'm then trying to play D6 and E6. So here it's saying that white is better. They didn't like this move. I don't know why. There are some things here I just don't understand. It really hated this move for me. Um, and again, I just don't know why. I just What did it want to do? It wanted to take on E5. And then it wanted to take on B5. And then play C6. Okay. I mean, I'm just not good enough at Horde to understand that. So here, all the time, it just thinks white is better. Perhaps Horde Coach could comment on the video and tell me what on earth's going on. Thinks it's all better all the time. Then I was playing all of these, playing for Zugzwang, and I thought, I thought that all the pawn breaks were disadvantageous, and so this was all very clever. But Stockfish is just saying, no, why it's better, why it's better, why it's better. Um, I just thought Black was winning here. But it's very early. I mean, it's very early learning this game, and in many ways, that's the joy of it. It's quite interesting to play a game where there's a lot to learn, although, of course, we're conscious that even in regular chess, there's a, you know, you can spend a lifetime learning and still uh, only have scratched the surface. That's just what it's like. It's a very big game. So, Queen A8. So, so here we've got the balance back again. How did we get the balance back? Because it didn't like... It didn't like this move much. Um... You know, this isn't a disaster. We're not we're not losing here. I mean, we're worse, according to the engine. Here, we're better. Knight takes e4, we're better, look. Little moment of, of excitement here. We're a lot better. Take on c1. Once you take on c1, okay. Want to take on c1 there. I understand that, rather than sack the knight for two pawns. Although, here again, we're not busted. Um... So it wanted to, okay. So, yeah, correct. I think there's one move near the end. Where, so so now, white's quite a lot better. So this was bad. So what do you want to play? Rook f8. Don't ask me why. No idea. This was terrible. The move here was king king d8. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Because once you've played f6, then f7 is a terrible threat. So it was sort of prophylactic to that. Or queen d4. Okay, now this is gone, right? It's gone. It's really gone. I, I was starting to feel it was gone. Here it wants to play c7. It says c7 is better. And then, okay. So here we're still losing, but, you know, not by that much. King e7, correct? Nah, we're still losing, really. I mean, I suspect this is mathematically lost still. When did I... I thought, I thought we might have it... Well, I thought it was gone, really, here, because I think the king... The queen just the king can hold back like two or three of the pawns, but then the queen just can't deal with the rest. The thing is, there's some nice pawn structures that he's built up, and they're just too far forward. So here, I don't quite know where I gave up. I don't quite know where I gave up. Anyway, wherever I gave up, it was all very sensible because um, 
White wins. So well played, very educational. I think there's a lot more to learn about Horde. And uh, yeah, it was fun. And a lot more fun to be had. So should we do one puzzle before we we log off? And the answer is, if you were black in this position, what would you play? What would you play? I mean, I haven't got a clue. Not got a clue. How about... Mm. Okay, so white has a lot more material. There must be some form of mating attack here. Okay, here's an idea. This is an idea. Queen h5 hits the rook. That's quite handy. And then let's assume there's moves like bishop g3 or rook h8. Because our king's not in immediate danger. I've got an instinctive feeling that queen h5 is a good idea. Oh, I love it. Now that's check. So best guess, taking with the a-pawn's a bit dangerous because white just pushes. It looks really dangerous. Is there a fast mate? It doesn't really matter. I think you've got to take with a c-pawn. We're in check. You're not going to move the king. You virtually can't. You've got to take with a c-pawn. Then what's white going to do? White's got to check. It's quite scary, isn't it? So white's got a check on like c4. And then the king goes here. And then there's no more checks. Is that what you're telling me? Not really. I mean, there are checks. We're going to take with the A-pawn. A-pawn, white pushes. And then what you play, king b7, and stop the pawn queening. It can't be right. Oh, this is hard. Okay, so take with the C-pawn. Queen check on c3. King has to run to here. Then there's a queen check here. Then takes, takes. And doesn't white just material up? So we have to take with the A-pawn. I don't I don't know what's going on here guys. Oh. It's hard work, isn't it? So this check you can't put the knight in the way. You've got to go to b8. You've got to go to b8. Check again. So many checks. Now you can you go to a8. Well, queen c6 is a bit of a problem, isn't it? If you go to a8. So you've got to go to b7. It's all sort of process of elimination. Check, you've got to take with the rook. I'm enjoying this. Wow. I enjoyed that. I, I'm The problems go better on stream because I just feel the need to try to concentrate. Hope you're all well. See you soon.